you struggle with relationships, did you know that you can use your astrology to learn more about how you can have more harmony in your relationships with people, whether you're in a relationship or you have a person in mind, or even if you don't, you can use your astrology chart to learn how you give and receive love and how anyone else in your life also gives and receives love so that there can be more harmony, intimacy, and connection in your relationships. I have a bonus lesson in my astrology course on how to find your ideal long-term partner and children and the timing of all of that. But in this video, I'm gonna walk you through specifically like if you have a person in mind or you're in a relationship to learn more about how each of you gives and receives love. So pull up your chart and let's get into this. We're gonna be specifically looking at the sign that your Venus is in because Venus is how you give and receive love, like your love language. For example, if you have Venus and Gemini, you give and receive love through communication, constant or consistent at least, contact with your person, words of affirmation, giving and receiving gifts, quality time with the person where you can have intellectually stimulating conversations. Like the more communication, the better. Flirty banter. That's how you know you are loved with this Venus placement. But if you have Venus and Pisces, you kind of live in your head in a fantasy world of the relationship and don't often communicate that to the other person. You feel and receive love through care, through support, and probably some type of spiritual connection as well. Maybe even having a similar routine as the person, having enlightening conversations. But Venus and Pisces really goes off of feeling versus Venus and Gemini, like I mentioned, goes off of hearing. And another example would be Venus and Virgo. Venus and Virgo goes off of your actions. This is more like the love language of acts of service. Are you helping me with whatever I need help with? Doing the dishes? Like, that's more Venus and Virgo. Like, are you devoted to me and showing that through your actions? So using this is really how you're going to not only be able to know how you give and receive and feel loved, but also how your person does. I say this all the time when it comes to relationships in my classes I teach on relationship compatibility, but there's truly no one size fits all for compatibility. Like it doesn't matter what your sun sign is really. It matters how your charts combine and if you're able to support the person and who they already are and not expect them to change. There's so much that goes into relationship compatibility. It you can't be chalked up to just what your sun signs are. And that is my mission with teaching you how to read your charts on your own is so that you can read the charts of other people as well and understand not only yourself, but the people around you to have more harmony and true connection in your life and relationships. What is your Venus sign? How do you feel like this shows up for you or your partner? Let me know.